Here's out. Working on a 2010 Chevy Malibu 3.6 V6. Complaint. See this uh, check engine light on. So I pulled the code and this is what I, you know, I pulled up. Pulled the code. Don't worry about this one. Um, prior to this video, um, during my um, diagnostic, uh, I uh, was unplugging um, modules and this is what that came from. But we're going to focus on this code right here. P0443. EVAP emission control system purge control valve circuit error. Now, what that means is, um, well, first, if you don't understand the definition, you can always Google it to get the definition, description of it. For me, I have my own service information, service manual. Uh, you can use Identifix. Um, I use All Data. Uh, you can use Mitchell. Um, get won't get quite far with Google, but yeah, that's how you get the information. So I went on my All Data. Um, just to get a description of the code. Um, this is a code I've never had to deal with before. I've dealt with a P0496, the, just the EVAP solenoid itself. But this one has a problem with the um, just uh, the control side of it. So I'm going to read it out loud. An ignition voltage is applied directly to the evaporative emission canister per solenoid valve. The engine control module grounds the evap canister per solenoid valve control circuit through an internal switch called a driver. The ECM monitors the status of the driver. The evap canister per solenoid valve is pulsed with module modulated. A scan tool will display the amount of on time as percentage. And the next paragraph says battery voltage is applied to the evap canister vent solenoid valve. The ECM grounds the EVAP canister, vent solenoid valve, control circuit through an internal switch called a driver. The ECM monitors the status of the driver. A scan tool will display the commanded state of the EVAP canister, vent solenoid valve as on and off. All this saying is, um, don't worry about the second paragraph because that's for the uh, vent solenoid valve. We don't even worry about the purge. So basically the description just said, um, just battery voltage as soon as you turn on the ignition um, straight power 12 volts going to the purge valve itself and then it is actually controlled by the computer through a driver so the driver basically grounds the sensor on and off it runs on a duty cycle like uh, fuel injectors on if you've done research on fuel injectors and you know the pulse width and stuff um, basically it, it it all depends on the duty cycle a duty cycle pretty much means it's on and all it's on a percentage of the time so let's say the duty cycle if I were to command it on um, to 50% then this per solenoid will be on 50% of the time it's 20% then it'll be on 20% of the time. You'll hear it in the uh the, the solenoid itself, like you'll hear like uh like the valve opening and closing rapidly. That's because it comes from the driver on the driver through the uh the ECM. Um that side of it controls the you know the solenoid on and off. So for the higher the percentage, you know, if it's seventy percent. It'd be on 70% of the time. If it's on 90%, it'd be on 90% of the time. And that's rapid, fast as clicking you'll hear the higher you go in percentage. So that's that. We're going to move on to the next step. To verify that the purge solenoid valve works, um, I'm just going to go in my output controls of my bidirectional scan tool, go through EVAP system, go to purge solenoid. You could check for an audible sound like the clicking I was just talking about. There's a fast, rapid clicking. Sometimes it's not that fast, but most of the time it's, it's fast as hell. So I'm gonna command it. Let me increase my, my on time to 50%. Wait, get that out of that. And then I'm gonna go um, you know, under the hood and I'm gonna you know, locate the purge control valve. I just want to see if I can hear the uh, that audible clicking sound. So this is my um, purge control valve. 
So it's commanded to 50%, and I'm at the sensor just to fill in it, just to see if I feel it clicking. I don't hear it clicking. So, gotta go further on a diagnosis. Next, I'm gonna check the uh, fuse for the uh, purge solenoid itself. So, I got the ignition on. You can use a test light. I have a power probe I'm gonna be using. The uh, LCD screen will display the actual voltage for um, this in that circuit itself. So, I already know um, where I'm looking at the uh, purge control valve uh, solenoid. Uh, fuse number six located, by the way. So I'm just gonna as you can see. Hold on. So no, too bright. I had twelve there. Then, oh, let me touch the other one. I'm looking at the. I'm not even paying attention, but let me start over. Let me text them. So I have battery voltage on both sides. If you only get voltage on one side, not and it's open on the other, then um, something's up with that circuit. Either there's a short in the circuit or the fuse is open. So I'm good on that part. So I'm going to my sys, go to the uh, solenoid itself, and I'm gonna check to see if it has battery voltage, ignition voltage. I'm gonna be using this. This is pretty much a, um, pretty much you can get away with a paper clip if it's sharp enough to pierce the wire but um, I'm gonna pierce the the wire once you figured out what wires is what but to do that we're gonna go back on all data and we're gonna look at a wiring schematic or just a connected view so we know which one is ignition voltage or you could just probe it and figure out which wire has 12 in it I'm gonna do it the legit way because I want you guys to see all right, got the shot from all data. So, okay. So this this is the circuit right here for the purge solenoid valve. This is the straight connection from the fuse panel straight back to the computer. All right, so in the middle right here. See that? All right, so that's that. All right, so the colors I'm looking for, um, these are abbreviated. So you kind of got to like uh, play, not a guessing game, but um, two letters you should be able to figure out the color so this one says uh, PK that's pink BK black and you got GN green and white H I mean WH which is uh, white so that's what that mean um, so I'm gonna look for my battery voltage so let me zoom out so if you can see from the computer remember the driver I was telling you about all the driver do is ground from the PCM that's all PCM do is just ground has shitload of drivers in there and on the other end of the completed circuit, you should have power, battery voltage. So remember the fuse six I told you about? Right, that's that right there. Um, so from our power source to our sensor, we have pink and black. So we can go to the pink and black wire, um, pierce it with the, uh, the probe, and see if we get battery voltage from there. Got my probe. And I'm just going to pierce it. Be careful and make sure it's centered. I already have a pre hole because I was in there already. I'm just going to... that in there right so next I'm gonna take my power probe and I'm just gonna see um, if I have ignition voltage so I have ignition voltage that's good so I'm gonna go to the next step now you can see maybe a Rust got in here or something, but see that big gap in there? Like it was never like the uh, the cool the, the the inside of it wasn't even twisted together, right? I just going over um, the whole circuit, the wires and everything, and um, another problem as you can see, this uh, these wires exposed. 
and just look how flappy this uh, connector is and you know you can see how it's just not sturdy well there's like a weak point like big basically the wires are gray to um, detach you can literally pull this off without a lot of force and this tells me that this was one of one of a couple things um, that made the light come on along with the uh, computer um, was was not like acting right temper it was like it was intermittent and the fuse box was like I, just really hard to explain because I originally didn't get battery voltage there but when I unplugged the PCM and the fuse panel I got that back again Next, we're going to test the uh, driver itself coming straight out of the uh, PCM. And to know which wire that um, you're supposed to be looking for, you want to go into your all data like this. You can find this through the, uh, the computer functions. I mean, the, uh, well, the prompts on all data. Look at the computers and you can get a diagram, electrical diagram of the, uh, the connector view and you get a list of it too in detail. So I pulled out my black connector, as you can see, BK black connector from the um, PCM, and um, according to this uh, schematic, it says, you can't see it, but I can, this is 48, pin 48, and green and white wire. So my list says, I'm going to find it, pin, pin 48 right there, green and white. Evap canister purge cylinder control. Okay, so I want to figure it out. Um, make sure when you figuring out which pin is which, you can get like a, a wrong reading because these pins or holes are so damn close that it'd be like precise when counting. So um, one starts from the top right and it's just pretty much reversed the whole way. I mean, well, it goes backwards that way instead of starting right here. So we're gonna count it out and uh, figure out which pen it is. But if you're having a hard time locating the pen and not sure, um, make sure the side that the pen is supposed to be on, you know, matches the color of the wire. Okay, I already had this uh, connector out. Took my cover off. As you can see, I'm in my uh, my green and white wire, and um, I want to take my test light. And I want to get my uh, bidirectional scan tool, go into the, uh, the purge solenoid, and I'm going to command it myself. The computer does its own commands. I'm going to command it my own self. I'm going to command it to 50%. And command it, it at 50%. The computer driver will command it 50% of the time. So that means it's going to be on and off. You should see like a fluctuation. Okay, so that's my ground right there. The computer is grounding itself, just like this, doing the grounding. And as part of the duty cycle from the driver, on and off, that beeping noise and the green light flashing on and off, that's his on and off state, duty cycle. So now I'm a command at the 50%. Huh? Wrong. Well, uh, Decrease. Let me feel my solenoid. I don't hear or feel anything. What? I'm going to turn it up higher to 100%. I'm going to show you how this driver works. We know that works, but let me show you real quick. So, command it to 100%, and that noise, that audible sound, it should get steady. hundred percent of the time now decrease it
Guys going back fast as hell. Increase it. So that right there tells me that the driver um, and the PCM for that circuit on that side itself, it works. So I'm just gonna get a new solenoid, new connector, and I'm good.